Okay, Wendy, this is the stuff I put in this in the uh, tub, so you know if you want to get some to put in the toilet or clean stains off of stuff. Also, this is what I tried to put in the tub. See this? And this is one of the ones you step on, but guess what? I don't know what they did to this tub, but it doesn't fit the hole, and even if it did, look, it's too, uh, it wouldn't hold the water. So, since this is a special finish, I can try to order this piece, or you can stick with this, and as I said in the previous video, the real hairy thing is trying to unscrew this out of here, because usually on the other side is metal, and this is welded to the other part, and this is fiberglass, see? So if you try getting aggressive down here and snap this sucker off, you're literally talking about tearing out tile and buying, I would guess this is about a $2,000 tub in that area. Could be more. It's got a good motor on it. Could be less. Either way, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be pretty, and especially when you have this as a solution for right now, until it really breaks and then you, and you have no choice um, to fix it. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the stuff that you had clean the jets out pretty good. I would fill it up again with like, you see a little dirt around there? That's like residual dirt. I put some in here to stain the toilet. And I clean it around again uh, with like Joy dish detergent. Nothing harsh. And just wipe it down and keep it wiped down. And it's, it's not leaking. So it's, uh, you know, it kind of is. Especially with this finish. I think it's called Antique Brass. See if you can see it. It looks almost black in the picture but it's like a bronze kind of look to it you know and I believe that color is called antique brass pretty sure and this is American standard but this is I think it's this is a mowing I could be wrong uh, but it looks like a mowing diverter it behaves like one um, so anyway just wanted to show you that see you on the next one